The reflected gradient masking bug in the Perfect Photo Suite is a very powerful masking tool. I'll demonstrate a couple of examples of how useful this tool can be. Here in Perfect Layers, I have two images I want to blend together. In the top layer, the foreground is well exposed. In the bottom layer, the sky is clearer and more dramatic. With the top layer selected, I'll click the masking bug from the tool well, select the reflected gradient shape, and click on the image to add the bug to the layer. A very powerful feature of the reflected gradient is being able to individually control the feather on either side of the gradient. For the horizon line, I need a very crisp mask. For the clouds, I can have a more gradual feather, giving me more creative control on how the lights and darks in the sky interact. I'll zoom in to 100% to align the bottom of the reflected gradient with the horizon. Once the gradient is positioned, I can use the masking bug to clean up the tops of these rocks that peak above the horizon line. With the perfect brush enabled and the mode to paint in, the tops of the rocks can be masked back in. Lastly, the overall strength of the reflected gradient can be adjusted with the opacity value for the masking bug. The reflected gradient can also be used to easily create top and bottom or left and right vignettes. In this street scene, darkening the top and bottom edges of the frame will further guide the viewer's eye down the alleyway and into the center of the frame. Here I'm in Perfect Effects. I'll add an Adjustment Gradient filter, select the Darken preset, and choose the Reflected Gradient shape for the masking bug. As I pull the edges of the bug closer to the center of the frame, the area outside the bug darkens. As seen a moment ago, the ability to individually tailor the size and feather of each half of the reflected gradient gives you total control on where the effect is applied. By toggling on and off the adjustment gradient filter, you can see how the darkening of the edges shifts the focus point of the image. You can further control the effect with the layer opacity slider, backing off the effect for a smoother blend.